Hello and welcome to another modern stream. Today we're gonna be playing some Bant Lands. This is something that I've been thinking about, uh, you know, when we were trying to go from Naya Lands, splashing blue for the fairy. So now the next step that I wanted to try out would be what if we just cut the red and we didn't play Ren and Six. It's a big cost, but it should help with the mana base. And again, like right now, the fairy is it's just such a messed up card. Like it's a really messed up card. So um, probably. It's probably gonna be fine. <laughs> like, probably the fairy is gonna is gonna be good enough. Uh, the, but yeah, in order to make room for it, of course, um, we cut the red and six. We make the mana base a lot smoother, so we only have like a breeding pool, uh, hallowed fountain as our blue sources, and then the rest is gonna be just uh, you know the, the colors that that we need. So we have uh, nine fetch lands, so that leaves us with eleven blue sources, which is. And if a little bit on the low side, particularly playing Growth Spiral, uh, I was trying to make room for some more blue sources, but I couldn't quite get there. Um, the good thing, though, is we, we have access to Elvish Reclaimer, um, so we can we can figure out ways to fix our mana. We could cut the Reclaimers for Chalices, but I don't know, man. I just wanted to play a Reclaimer today. <laughs> We're going to be playing some, some Reclaimers. Uh, yeah, if we cut the Reclaimers, then, you know, these could turn into... Uh, I don't know something something else uh, some some blue sources it could help our mana situation a little bit better But I just want to play reclaimer. Just let me play reclaimer. Okay uh, Yeah, the rest of the deck is what we've come to to expect explore we get to play growth spiral in in this deck which is Probably gonna be a little bit hard to cast, but we're gonna see how that works out and then dryads Titanias prismatic ending probably the best removal spell in modern right now uh, engineered explosives as a one-off and a couple of copies of life from the loam uh, so we can get going with um, with our Ursa sagas of course uh, the sideboard includes bojuki bog which we can go fetch with reclaimer uh, so that's uh, that's pretty good so whenever we play it against the graveyard deck we can uh, simply sideboard into bojuki bog a uh, flaster storm and mystical dispute against combo slash control torpor against the yorion piles that see play nowadays by the needle as a card that we can find off of saga Endurance, cause it's great. Force of Vigor, cause it's great. Chalice, cause it's great. And then she needs explosives, second copy. Uh, we're gonna see how this work works out. I, I kind of suspect that it's gonna be worse than just the straight up uh, Naya version. But uh, the, you know, there's only one way to figure it out. So we're gonna see how how that goes. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, of course, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you for round number one. All right, here we go. Turn one reclaimer. Hell yeah. So I think we get Temple Garden here. Even if Reclaimer does die, we get to explore on turn two. We also get to Loam. So our best draw would be a land, very likely. Sad face. Land expedition map, um, yeah, not quite, not quite a land. That's a, that's a way to guarantee that we're drawing a land at least. So next turn we can map into Saga, I guess. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. Here we go. Oh, Stream Decker is not updated. All right. Thank you. Um, is that Merc Tide? Um, I think I'm going to chill here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna to crack this to get Saga and start to get this party started. So they do have more tide. I 
think I'm loaming here. No, nah, I'm not loaming. Could invade the counter spell, unfortunately. Mm. Could invade the counter spell. That sucks. Okay. Take seven. Ugh. This is rough. I mean, this is why Loam is just so much worse than Ren and Six, right? I simply was not able to Loam at any point this game because like it just doesn't work, right? So I'm going to play around Counterspell by making a token and uh, going to get a Shadow Spear. Um, this means that the Murktide is not lethal. This loses to Archmage's Charm, however. So if my opponent does have Charm, we are we're in trouble here. But at least we do get to play around um, Loam. We get to play around what's his name very nicely. But yeah, Loam is just... Like, I need to resolve it, right? Like, otherwise, it just doesn't do anything. Except, uh, with the, the, the difference is that, you know, if I played Ren, Ren would be sitting now, and it would be granting me value every turn. So I wouldn't have missed any land drops if I had had access to Ren. And I did, because I was playing Loam. So, definitely some food for thought there. Did I consider playing Bellow Summon in the sideboard? I am consistently uh, unimpressed by the card of Veil of Summer. I think it's probably, like, the most overhyped card in in the modern format. I think it's the most consistently overhyped card in the entire modern format. I think it's actively bad very often. But people really forget about the times where they got got uh, with, with a Veil of Summer in hand that they couldn't even cast. And they always remember the times where it was just nuts. So they always remember it fondly, when in reality, it wasn't really that good. So that's a long way of saying, I think I don't want Bill of Summer in the deck. <laughs> it's the, just a long way of, of saying that. Not sure you were one hour and 20 minutes on the dot. Um, I'm sorry, Jeff. <laughs> Okay, Pointing Mulligans to 6 as well, so we're going to go turn 1, tap land, DRC, now we're going to explore into Saga, next turn we hold up Dispute. Maybe people are playing Bill when they shouldn't, and it's only good in certain strategies. Yes, that's my point. And those strategies uh, tend not to be Primeval Titan or land-based strategies for whatever reason. Every time I try playing Veil in this kind of strategy, it just ends up underperforming. No attacks. I'm going for map because map allows me to con to keep the party going. 
Would you play Veil in Green Trump personally? I would not play Green Trump personally. <laughs> um, so there's that. <laughs> How you doing, uh, Torborg? Three mana. Fairy Time Raveler. Resolve your thingy. I'd like to dispute you now, thank you. Anima27 with a nine nine month uh, tier one sub. Thank you so much for that. Back to watching mostly on YouTube because my wife and I had our firstborn, but here to show, oh, that's awesome, Anima, yeah, awesome. Yeah, you can expect to see a lot more, more YouTube content anyway, so it just works out perfectly. It just works out perfectly. Champarino? Okay, so like the biggest blowout ever? Is that what's up? All right, so next turn we get Titania. I'm probably getting back Saga, even though Misty gives me... I'm probably getting back Saga, even though Misty does give me the, the immediate 5-3. It's just Saga gives me so much more long-term long advantage. Do you think Carnival is the best version of Amulet at the moment? Uh, I think so, personally. That's the one that I've been having the most um, the most success with. I know Punt has been uh, has been playing a list with multiple main deck tireless trackers, with which looks very good. I was actually considering playing that today. Um, ended up deciding against it because I'm I'm gonna have something a little bit spicier for you. So this means that this is lethal. So my opponent needs to interact with my board somehow, and if they do, then I just get the slam titanium. The tireless list is doing yeah, the tireless list looks very cool. Also, Trucker is just awesome. Does Saga pull that much weight in this deck when you aren't running other artifacts? Yes. <laughs> yes. Saga is a fucked up card, Kevin. Really, really fucked up card. Um, I guess I'm... Oh, I don't even need to choose. Um, I thought the same thing when I first built this deck, and my original deck list had like two Sagas, I think. And then I played it some more, and I realized that Saga is far and away the best card in the deck. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want here. I don't think so. I think this is fine. This hand is awful. Ugh, feel so bad, but I'm in Titania there. Particularly because Orb doesn't do anything. I think I'm playing around Blood Moon. I guess it's free enough. Ish. <laughs> it's free enough ish. When it keeps on top. Oh, they're playing Alpine Moon? Sick. I'm not gonna play these explosives though, because my opponent showed me wear tear. 
Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to play around counter spell though. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to play around counter spell. If they have wear tear, you know, Scylla be. They have wear tear. Hmm. All right, that is fine. So now they showed me Alpine Moon, I think I'm not gonna play around Blood Moon. Maybe they have like one copy tops. Would love to find a land. Would love, love, love to find a land here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh... There's an argument for cracking there, but my opponent can dash monkey, so I'm gonna kill now in combat, however. Eh, actually, let's let's crack on end step. This means that my opponent cannot just play a monkey. And that locks up their mana. But I'm definitely cracking on end step. Fluster. I mean, I kind of have to protect this, right? This is so brutal. So brutal. I'm playing 20, 28 lands, I think. So I got two, but I brought in Bajuga Box, so like 27. Pretty unfortunate. And they have the Merc Tide. Uh, they have another counter spell. Yeah. Uh, that's really frustrating. This is very, very frustrating. All right, I've seen enough, I've seen enough, I've seen enough. Let's move on. All right, round two, this hand looks fine. Let's keep it. I think I'm gonna go get, we have Hallowed Fountain. I think I'm just gonna go, go fetch for the Triumph here. Dude, scape shift, really? In this day and age, we're playing scape shift? Brave opponent. Brave opponent. The real Titan deck. LOL. No fetch. So opponent has bolt and they're trying to bolt my triad and I'm going to oblige. If they want to attack and block my triad, Or maybe not. Maybe they just wanted to save those precious two points of damage. They could technically have Titan mana here. I've seen more Scapeshift than Titan lately. I don't understand why. 
Like, is, is this deck good now? Like, it hasn't been good in years and nothing has changed, so... I mean, a lot of things have changed, obviously. I'm, I'm being hyperbolic here for, for value, but... Skip shift, God wish. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know so much about that. So let's say that my opponent gets a Titan and they kill Titania. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on my main face, I'm going to spend two mana sack saga with the trigger on the stack that's going to allow me to get one valakut then two mana to crack the uh, expedition map that i'm going to find off of this sure you gotta wish wish for anger i guess uh, that's pretty good That's pretty good. <laughs> That's also pretty good. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So one. Float. Sudan orb. Swing for two. So even if they have scape shift now, we don't die. I guess if they have landscape shift, we die. Which is probably what they have, I guess. We don't die to prime time though. And we're gonna get like a million tokens, so we have lethal on the crackback. Yeah, I mean, this is why you don't get why people are playing Scape Shift now. It's just like, it's just not a good deck. <laughs> it's, it's just not good. Everything goes over the top of this deck now. Everything goes over the top. The control decks go over the top. The mid-range decks go over the top. This shitty pile that I'm playing goes over the top. <laughs> Is this enough? Um, okay, so ending sucks. We don't really have anything to stop Valakut, which is a problem. Am I just bringing in bad mana leaks? I think so. What friend style deck is best to play right now? Uh, probably Amulet. I think Amulet is fine now. Otherwise, Elementals. If you consider Elementals a friend deck. Do I want Fluster? Fluster is only good in the early game. Do 
this is fine, I think. Yeah, we're probably gonna ship this one. Go to four one with your last ten mental season Friday. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, I think the mental is still pretty solid. I don't think it's necessarily worse than the the four color Yorian piles, if I'm being honest. I'm not sold on it being worse. Fetch for breeding pool here. Then we're gonna fetch for basic forest and I'm gonna loam. Again, look at how much better would would Ren be right here, right? I just drop Ren and then I, I don't have to worry about it anymore. I just start drawing and hitting all of my land drops from now on. Would have been a lot better. Planes, play Dryad, play Land, play Reclaimer. So if we end up with Reclaimer, we may be okay. If we don't end up with Reclaimer, shit's gonna hit the fan. Warm Harvest, that's funny. They're playing Breach? Oh my god. That's so much cooler. That is so much cooler. All right, lots more respect for what my opponent is doing now that, that I see that they're playing through the breach. That is a lot better. Maybe I should be bringing in flusters then. Yeah, maybe I should have bring whatever. Uh, keep this. Play decency, go. Mom, can we have Renin 6? We already have Renin 6 at home. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel about uh, Life from the Loam. There's so much magic content to consume. That's a very, very deep statement. Levi. There's so much of it to consume and you're in the best place to do it. So you're just winning, you know? Got a bolt for this? No bolt. Reclaimer. You canny spikes streaming at the same time. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of like stepping down from streaming as much as I am right now. Just too much competition and I can't compete with them. Like right now I'm, st I'm streaming for 47 people, which is understandable because everybody's watching Spike and Canister. <laughs> There's only so many eyeballs. So it, and, and I can never beat those guys. It doesn't matter how hard I try, I, I cannot compete with those guys, so. That's why I'm trying to make this switch a little bit over to, to YouTube. Do, do, do. What are we doing here? I might go squattering. Am I going for the meme play? No, I'm going for Saga. It's slow. I 
think I only want to get two lands back here. And here we're going to get Torpor Orb into play. You tried so hard and got so far. Yeah, that's fair. Chokes and you have three computer watching all three of me at the same time. Fair enough. That's a good play. Very strong play. So my opponent let me end up with Reclaimer. And they allowed me to get back my Flagstones. I think we're just going to get Ghost Squatter. So Reclaimer is just not going to matter anymore. So because of that, like now the Titan is not lethal because I take six and they, they only get a couple of lands instead of getting four. And I get to uh, get Surin Orb and then play Titania. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're not going to get our land back with Titania though. So here they breach. Honestly, it would have seemed like a better play to just wait for them. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Torpor are doing Lord's work here. Uh, but we're going to be able to like get through an orb and we're going to be able to swing back for lethal. So. Well, but now they uh, they can't have second Titan in hand because they packed it, right? And now they're going to spend their turn paying for Pact. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know how good of a play that is. So we're going to draw here. Draw a blank. That's fine. We don't need it. Get Suran Orb. One, two, three, four... Five, Titania, play a fetch. Um, I'm gonna, like this Reclaimer is just not going to matter. I'm just gonna hold it to pitch to force in case my opponent plays a Dryad. Yeah, there's their sword, so we don't get the land back. Yeah, my opponent went for something, and then we went for something, and it was a lot better. <laughs> they went for something, and then we went for something else, and it was a lot better. <laughs> How many tokens do you think I'm going to be making right here, opponent? You tell me. I guess they can have exactly Anger of the Gods. <laughs> I guess they could have exactly Anger of the Gods. So I I guess I play around Anger. I mean, can I really play around Anger on second thought? I guess they don't have Anger. Cool. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, I don't think that they would put the Anger in the main deck and they have the Anger on the cyber for Wish. But, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, they just backed it and they, they didn't really achieve nothing. Like, this Torpor Orb really owned them. Instead of Lethal, they found Death. <laughs> <laughs> See you next round. Yeah, sure. Let's get this. I'm not loving the engineered explosives, but everything else in the hand looks fine. Opponent goes turn one Gigantha. 
So I think that the next level play is to go turn one basic forest instead of playing the tap land because my opponent, if they play a one drop, I can prismatic ending whatever they play. And this is probably Tron. So if they go turn one expedition map, I can just explore off the saga and then ending the expedition map, which will probably be fairly strong. So this is like a very unintuitive play here, but I think it's the correct one. Thank you for that follow. How does it feel to, to be so good at this game, you ask? Uh, that's a really good question. Uh, that's a really, really good question. So it feels very good to be this good. I'm not gonna lie. It feels very, very good to be this good. Uh, but hopefully that's why you're here, you know? Flaxtones? Hell yeah. So next turn we play Titania, fetch Suranor. Oh, my opponent just had Natty Strong, of course, of course. Worm Coil Engine. Dude, imagine playing well and it mattering. <laughs> it's honestly it's my fault. It really is my fault for thinking that my opponent wouldn't have it. Like, that's just so stupid of me to think. What do you got, opponent? There are a couple of things that I can't beat. And that is Oblivion Stone and what's his name exactly, and Ugin. That's just Prime 3 with the Prime Sub, coming back for 9 months. Thank you for the sub there. Happy Friday to you as well. Second worm. Suck this, make another five three. Suck this, suck this. That is four five threes. Four five six. This is also going to be a 3-4. So this is 5-5-3s. Five, five, My opponent blocks one of them. Then 10 make it through. 10 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. So this is lethal. Think I did my math correctly. So we three mana, we bounce this opponent blocks here, they take ten plus three plus three, which is twenty-six. Blue, white, the fairy, minus play this for zero. X axis, the best kind of lethal. All right, Tron, uh, we want that, don't want that. Want these bad boys, don't want that one. Chalices are interesting.
endings are also interesting. Uh, actually, on the draw, I think I'd rather have Time Graveler than Chalices. On the play, I'm going to switch those around. On the play, I think Chalices is, is, is pretty good. Tron Splashing White for Solitude. I have a Teferi in play, so they can't do anything. So there's no main deck Force of Vigor that can get me. Why am I not main decking Chalice in this deck? Because I wanted to play with uh, Reclaimer. It's possible that just playing uh, just playing Chalice is better, but... Also, I don't think that Chalice is as good as it used to be, like, a couple of weeks ago. I think that the meta has adapted to Chalice. I like the loan, but I don't have the Ghost Quarter to go with it, so I'm just gonna ship this. This hand is just bad. Uh, okay, we're keeping this one. Uh, thank you for the follow, Sueliox. So we're bottoming this, and we're bottoming probably the Prismatic Ending. Maybe I should be bottoming one of these fetches instead of the Valakut, but I think I'd rather have the extra fetch. Ending. There's a Trium. It doesn't really do too much. Heathen King 666, thank you so much for that uh, subscription, tier, tier 1 subscription. Yeah, what the hell is going on here? We're playing a classic. Absolute classic, I tells ya. Naya Lands was too strong, I had to nerf it. That's what happened. Just turn to Tron. Never ever skip a beat. <laughs> Never ever skip a beat. Um. Yeah, I don't think I want disputes. I think disputes are just are just too slow and just too clunky and just not good enough. If this were three mana counter spell instead of being three mana mana leak, maybe I'd consider it, but I don't think that dispute is gonna is gonna cut it against the Tron menace. All right, so turn one reclaimer, okay. I'll work with this. We can spiral on two. <laughs> Splinter Twin assembled. Splinter Twin assembled. So I think I'm going for just go squatter here. Oh, I should have gotten the the at uh, the Try them. Whoops. <clears throat> hey, how's it going, Ifeno? With a tier one sub 30 months, 
subscription is officially old. Good old 3-0. Classic. Thank you so much for the continued support, Ifeno. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure and a privilege to have you here. So they didn't fetch for anything, so we're just guessing. I'm going to destroy the ugly one. Oh, I'm an idiot. Did they fetch for this? Did they fuck it up? And I fucked it up? I assume that they finished Tron. I guess it wouldn't have mattered at all, but... Whoops. Well, that was... That was kind of funny. Live from the loam. Not here, not now. Your name Connor liberated. Yeah, they got the third the third power plant. So I'm assuming that they just have another mine and they have another they have a couple of towers in hand. That's my assumption. So they're just trying to make sure that they can they have the the extra one, you know? Yes, play Connor liberated, please. Please play Karn. <laughs> so I guess if we find the Dryad off the top, maybe we can raise them. Hey. Try it. No bueno. That is very, very no bueno. Mm hmm. That's actually not that bad. Like, they have to minus to kill this. Minus three. Um, sack here in response, and I think I'm just gonna get another saga. So now we get to kill the Ugin. I really need to find it right here. We can't beat Oblivion Stone. We can beat another Ugin though. So Ugin doesn't really do anything. O Stone is a problem. Ulamog is a problem. Likarn Liberated is not that much of a problem. Worm Call is kind of a problem that guy is not a problem that one is 
Okay. Try this again. Forest construct and tap blank construct sack if I expedition map I think I have to get map here. So this is kind of awkward because now I can't crack the map because if I crack the map, this dies. So I just have to play my land and say go. I don't know if I have to prismatic end in the token because my opponent can have a card liberated and then if they, um, not liberated, the, the four mana one, if they have Great Creator into fucking um, Incinerum Bridge, I'm going to need the Prismatic Ending so I can attack through everything. Trying to figure out how I can lose here. That's the challenge. Take three to the face. So we can't beat O-Stone, but we can beat what's going on here. So now we kill the Death Touch one. We play Fetch. We sing everything at Ugin. Imagine opponent's just gonna take it. We can go squatter them for value. Love that. Love that. Get a token for our troubles. And now, even through the Ulamog, it just doesn't matter. We still have lethal. Of course, they have the missing Tron piece. Uh, so the only thing we lose to here is Oblivion Stone, I think. Because we can just get around the Ulu Mog. I don't think most strong lists are playing O-Stone lately. Sure, all right, you got me. I guess that also plays. Loam off the top, please. Dryad. Yes. Oh, yes! Was this game played perfectly? Yes, yes it was. This was the perfect game. It was played perfectly. Opponent says, GG, cool deck. I'm gonna say thanks. Oh, man! That, boy, does that feel good! Boy, does that feel good! 
Every step of the way, every step of the way, playing around the Ulamog, playing around the Car Liberated with the preemptive Piting Needle. That was. Whew. Sometimes I, I, I play a match and it's just like. Good job, man. That, that, that was tight. That was tight. All right, see you next round. All right. Um... Yep. Obviously. Turn to five we go. Keep this bottom bottom. Can say I'm like super loving this, but I bought him the last turn, but it really wanted to <laughs> to make it back to the top of the deck, I guess. Does Dream Title say Hammer Titania? No, you're you're, you're reading correctly. Your eyes do not deceive you. That is exactly what it says. I kind of have to kill that, right? Are these ghost pepper levels of spice? Uh, it is, it is. If you want to see the deck list, you should check it on Twitter. I posted earlier. Goblin bombardment. Okay. I posted it on the Discord to Sheeps. What are your thoughts on one of random surgical extraction in Titan? It's probably the worst thing I've ever heard all day. Probably all week. Probably all year. I mean, I heard some pretty bad things all year. Now, in, in, in all seriousness, I don't think those kind of cards work in, in Amulet. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna make my token here, I guess. Oh. That's uh yeah, that's uh that's a top deck. They're gonna get one trigger because this sax and mayhem devil is is a funny card. I'm gonna fetch right now so my opponent has to ping me. I guess I'm gonna give them the option of if they want to kill Titania, they can. I guess they didn't, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. Again, the idea here is my opponent can't pile up triggers on my on my Titania, right? So they are forcing to go in phase, which doesn't achieve anything at all. And now we have a bunch of tokens.
Fetch line is very good for them there. If they find a second devil, that's gonna be lights out for us. I think second. Oh my god, that's so perfect for them! That is so insanely perfect for them! Holy shit! Um. Yeah, I can't beat that. That's just too much. That is ridiculous. Wow. I can't believe... Those were like some insane collected companies. Those were some ridiculous collected companies. So that can go... Soul Guide's good. I think I like endurances. A needle looks pretty good as well. Needle can name um, Goblin Bombardment. Blue white list earlier split forces between main and side or play all four main board. What's your preference uh, with blue white? Uh, I think uh, Spreading Seas is messed up right now, so I, I want at least between 3 and 4 in the main deck, but you can play whatever you want. I love how you're a green deck slashing for the fairy. Uh, well, I mean, Flagstones are free, right? Because I want to play Flagstones already because of Reclaimer. So it kind of looks like I'm just flashing for the fairy, but in reality I am, you know... I have to play Flagstones. Like, I have to play white just by design. Vampire Dyers with the Prime Sub coming back for 22 months. Thank you for that. Welcome back to the Prime Time Stronghold. But yeah, this is just... It's a force green white deck. Like, if, I, if you want to play a Reclaimer, you just have to play green and white. Like, there's no... If you want to play this style of deck with Flagstones, right? I guess I should be more specific. You don't need another color for ending, that's just not true. You don't really need another color for a prismatic ending because you can just play uh, you can just play like a random a random what's his name? I think if my opponent attacks with the monkey, I'm gonna trade, so... Okay, that's cool. Uh, this is cool, thank you, sheeps. Appreciate it. I'm more afraid of the bombardment than from the Gris, so we should have sacked the Hallowed Fountain there. I don't think I long.
Okay. We're not going to explore here. I'm just going to play the second reclaimer. <clears throat> the image Europeans were a huge success. I wonder if Modern Horizons Pro could have been a lot healthier format wise and price wise if it was only new to modern reprints and modern reprint stables. Yeah, I mean, it depends on how you look at how you measure success. It really depends on how you, may, how you want to measure success because if you want to measure it as the format is, is slash feels better, I would agree. Uh, but the format, it kind of feels a little bit more forced now. Like you, and this is this is why all the decks are so expensive, right? It's because now if you want to compete, you have to be playing Modern Horizons 2 cards. Like you just have to, there's no way around it. If you're not playing MH2 cards in your deck, you simply cannot compete. And I don't know how healthy that is, you know? Particularly for the longevity, the, the longevity of the format. I think it's better for me to make a token here. Instead of exploring, the only image cards that were new to the format were reprints. They're already being circulation. It would be a lot better for prices. Yeah, exactly. But like, if you're printing, you know, Solitude and like all of those sick cards, you do run into the potential of, you know, what happened actually happening. You know, three mana, two two draw two cards seems like a good card <clears throat> that's pretty nice so I don't think we're going for Titania here I think we're just going to continue the grind um <clears throat> I think I'm gonna hold up Bojugabog. So I'm gonna send both of these at Grist. Shout out to Pine Needle for being a homie. Uh, just pass the turn here. <clears throat> Shout out to Pine Needle for being the absolute homie. I think Mullen is in a good place. I'm just sad about the amount of free spells, so hard to play around all that shit. No, it's not. I think that the gameplay is fantastic. I think that the gameplay in Modern has been... is probably the best that it's been in... I don't want to say forever, but... kind of. I think the gameplay in Modern right now is fantastic. Like, I'm legit excited every time I, I just... I, 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 um, I come here to stream something, you know? That wasn't always the case. Um, what do I want here? Probably just another saga. Like this, these dudes are beefed, beefed up. Yeah, for, so for, if, if they continue doing this kind of stuff, like, they need to print way more. 
to offset the ridiculous price spikes. They need to play so, so, so much more product. Yeah, and I don't need this. <laughs> just just casually discarding a Titania there, like, yeah, I, I, I don't need that. I'm fine. <laughs> The time Rubbler. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we're just gonna play this soul guide. Eat Croxa. So these are five fives. We can make them seven sevens. So they have two forced chumps. I think I'm just making tokens, so I'm gonna attack like this. Hey, how's it going, Matthew? Have I seen the new Chandra yet? Uh, I've seen people hyped about it, and I don't really understand why. Like, it doesn't seem good to me. Chandra looked bad, but I think Astrolay was venable, so what? But I didn't think Astrolay was venable, so what do I know? Fair enough. <laughs> Shout out to Pie the Needle. Doing some pretty good work over there. Yeah, there we go. Born and final realized we've been in garbage time for a minute and they decided to pack it up. Okay, game number three against John Sack. I think this is fine. I don't love the Teferis on the draw. Maybe I should have forces instead. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. These are the kind of hands that don't let me sleep at night, you know? Ay, ay, ay. Don't do this to me, Deck. Deck, don't do this to me. Flagstones off the top, and we can get this party started. One time. Flagstones off the top. Nice and easy. Flagstones off the top right here. They're kind of struggling with mana over there, so. Twenty-eight land deck. <laughs> Twenty-eight land deck. Arlo top deck. Thank you for that follow. That sucks for me. Greed. I mean, more more than half of my deck is lands, right? Statistically speaking. Uh, 
That sucks. Um, oh, come on, dude. Ah, this is so frustrating. Wicked Gamer, thank you for the follow. I guess Wicked, not Wicked. <laughs> okay, so I guess this is technically a land. So, Soul Guide Lantern. Exile your Bloodgast. Play this thing. And attack your Grist. They can block and ping if they want to. We just take it. Okay. I think we just have to do this. They casually been in a blood gas there. So brutal. Uh, and I'm, I'm conceding to Mayhem Devil, obviously. Whiff, whiff, whiff. That's it, just a Grist. Yes, okay. Not that things are looking good anyways, but... <laughs> Okay, um, land. Okay, Whew. Maybe we have a chance here. Just no more collected companies and no mayhem devils ever. Never a mayhem devil. Damn it. Maybe my opponent didn't hear me. Didn't hear me properly there. But I did say no mayhem devils. That's just so brutal. That's so brutal. To be missing so many land drops. How can we turn this around? So the soul guide is gone. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go find Pine Needle, I think. So I guess I want to just do this the other way around. So I want to float mana here and sack to sewer and orb. This means I gain two and take one, which is which is good. Can I win if I don't explore here? Am I forced to explore in order to keep up with what my opponent's doing? Two mana expedition map. I, I mean, I just have to, I just have to name Golden Bombardment here. I think, unfortunately. But then I don't make a token, and not making a token is just so bad. I think I have to I have to Luxac here. I need to find an untapped land off the top. <sighs> so 
So this means my opponent can't attack, which buys us a little bit more time. Or we can instant speed a 4 4. I mean I'm 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 going to I'm going to bite here. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing over there opponent but I'm I'm going to bite. <laughs> it just dies? I guess they didn't notice that I named Needle? Like that is just so good for me. Wow, that is just so insanely good for me. Okay, play to your routes, I guess. <laughs> We're playing to our routes. Um... I think I want to make a token. And I'm not going to suit it up because it's going to die to the Grist anyway. So I'm just going to play my land and say go. But what I want is for my opponent to... Oh, I forgot to gain two life. That was a mistake. That was just a strict mistake. And this is also a mistake from my opponent. They're playing a the Blood Gas deck, right? So uh, they should not... Like, Fetch to Thin is probably one of the most common mistakes that people make. They're playing both Mayhem Devil and Blood Gas, so they should definitely not fetch there. So end step, we're going to Expedition Map. We're going to find probably another Saga. I'm, I'm probably going to get punished somehow by this, but all right. This is far from the end of the world. Um, Suranor kind of sucks that it's gone, but... Just get Saga. <clears throat> I totally forgot that Colin Reach for was a card. Um, no, not much that I can do. I think I'm just gonna get a fetch land here. Guarantee the 5 3. And then my opponent's gonna need to um, sack the monkey if they wanna kill Titania, and then we can uh, swim back with the 5 3 and kill them. Kill the, the Grist. Does anyone have the deck list? Right there. So it's weird how Grist works. So. When the ability goes on the stack, you still are supposed to wait for them to choose a target. Because the way that it works is like it also triggers on resolution of the sacrifice. So for whatever reason, you can like minus and like not choose to sacrifice anything, which I think it's super weird, but... Okay, I'll start here. Do you have that collected company? Nope. Plus here, 
play fetch land in case I draw another Titania. So you go. It's not on Carbo Life. Okay. Let me fix that real quick. Ba -ba -bum. Uh. We're out of things to fetch with Saga, but that's fine. What we care about is that construct life, you know? It's all about that construct life. Another calling ritual. All right. I guess we play on. So Dryad wins on the spot. Titania pseudo wins. It probably just wins. Endurance is funny. Um. Minus on nothing, because again, like we have actual lethal draws here. That's not one of them. Pass the turn. They have nothing they can get back, right? This is the funniest way to win the game, so I love it. <laughs> I can shuffle my own graveyard so I have stuff to get with Saga again. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, GG's opponent. Got there. Huh. Okay. So let's go fetch basic forest explore. Counter spell. I think we're slamming this death. Because otherwise my opponent gets to draw two and that's that's a big problem. An Italian guy think it will have follow. Esper? Is this Reanimator? Or is it just like a silly control list? Are we about to get cryptic commanded? Is that in our future? Snapcaster counterspell? Dude, they're just playing some old school bad control deck. <laughs> We're totally gonna lose to this. <laughs> We're totally gonna lose to this. Eh, maybe not. We have three Titanias. They're gonna need a lot of counter spells. What 
would have been awesome to draw anything I could cast there, <laughs> like a Dryad or something like that. Literally anything I could have cast would have been fantastic. I think we're making tokens here instead of slamming Titania. Jesus with the Prime sub. Welcome back to the Prime Stronghold. 12 months. Keep the band's dream alive. Hallelujah. Yeah, they're drawing two there. So you just have to tap them out. I just have to somehow tap them out. It's not easy to achieve when I'm just drawing all blanks. Mario, como vai você? Tudo bem nesta sexta. Sexta-feira. No CG coverage makes me so sad. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It does make sense though, right? I guess it's just such bad EV for them to do coverage. So I don't really hold it against them. It's just, it really sucks. Like we, with the years, we have kind of grown accustomed to, to the SCG coverage kind of doing it for us, you know? And it's just not a thing anymore. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Impressive. Nah, my, my Portuguese used to be a lot better. I gotta practice more. Yeah, my phone is in Portuguese for what's worth. I think our hand was way too clunky this game. Like this should be a good matchup for us. I think this should be a good matchup, but our hand was a little bit too clunky for this game. They're playing Esper Charm, dude. So they're just playing the deck list from like a year ago. They're literally just playing the deck list from a year ago. Musa Aguilar from someone from Paraná. No, I mean I just have Argentinian accent, so it kind of, kind of just happens, you know. Uh, I'm playing Titania this turn because it can potentially, like, it forces the counter spell. And next turn I can dry it plus make a token. Although it's gonna be too slow, I'm gonna die to the, to the fucking uh, spirit anyway. Well, somehow we lost that game. Uh, disputes, yes. Fluster storms, yes. Endurances, yes. Explosives, no. Cut the endings. They answer time traveler, but like that's not even that good. Um, that goes. So God lantern is probably okay. 
shave a couple of reclaimers. Should I bother with Fluster and a Waffle style blue white control list? I mean, I think your Cascade matchups are already pretty good, right? I think in a Waffle style deck, I'd rather have Dispute or Dobbins Veto, which allow you to win counters, uh, counter wars in the mirror. As opposed to trying to worry so much about, like, you're already a Chalice deck, so the Cascade decks are not even that good. Fluster is particularly good against the Cascade decks. I think this is fine. Is it an evolution? Is it better without rent? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. <laughs> Let's try things out. See how it feels. See if I like it. Maybe I like it. Maybe I don't. I mean, I would assume that, uh, Jesus, you should just play whatever Waffle plays, right? <laughs> if Waffle's doing it, there's probably a very, very good reason why he's doing it, right? That Shadow Spear loves being in your hand. Yeah, it's been, it's been a recurring theme. It's been a recurring theme this stream. So we're going to fast for Breeding Pool. You can't have your own flavor. You can, but I mean, Waffle is a very smart man. <laughs> Waffle is a very, very smart man. Oh, thank you, Gudo. That's awesome. Smart again is pretty good there. Smart again is quite, quite good there. Misclicked. Whoops. Enjoy this master class in control. Also, cut your vote on ice. Oh, yeah. That that was that was a good time. Um, Jesus, it was it was a good league. I happy. I had a good time. Snapcaster's kind of owning me here. Just floored by the fact that Jace isn't good at the moment. And it's not the craziest thing. There's been some some pretty good printings, you know. I'm holding the land there because of um, the discard two cards, uh, Esper Charm. We are not doing well here.
Yep. Sadness. <sighs> Just sadness. <laughs> Just sadness. Can I please resolve? Please. Please. Can I resolve? A lot of good cards in there. Got a lot of good cards in there. <laughs> that's that's not one of them. That's not one of them. There's a lot of good cards in there though. Another saga would win. Uh, fucking. This is a shark. That uh, looks like a shark. Titania. Fairy. There we go. Up to way, my friend. Did I just fuck this up? I fucked this up, right? Yeah. I mean, there was no way that I could have. I could have played around it. I guess. Because I would have had to fetch anyway. It just makes me so sad. To be honest though, respect to my opponent. They're really playing in hard mode over there. Really, really playing in hard mode over there. Gotta respect it. <clears throat> I guess we have to find another Titania. That's probably the only way. Just find another Titania. To be fair, if we do find Titania, we win. So that's good. But our, our outs are a lot more limited now. Another guile, they draw two, okay. Okay, digging for the counter spell. Put a card on top, fuck. <laughs> all right, all right. God damn it. Yeah, my opponent's deck list is heinous. <laughs> <laughs> 
my opponent's deck list is very, very bad, but they've been drawing better than I have, so it doesn't matter. They're just playing the deck list from a, mil a million years ago. And there's a reason why, you know, those lists aren't good anymore. No, it's not a thing. Esper is not a thing. So we're still not dead here. Yeah, at least they don't have lethal. <laughs> As much as I love Esther Trump is not at all a thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've been drawing really poorly. We've been drawing quite poorly. Down to one we go. Is the top card of my deck a Titania? Top card of the deck, Titania, one time. Redraws. That's, that's not it. That is not it. <laughs> that is not it. Can we survive again? We have to sack four lands. One, two, three, four. We can't cast Titania anymore, so we can't win. That's a really brutal way to go. That's a really brutal way to go, but yeah. I still think that that should be a sort of good matchup because my opponent's deck is just kind of stuck in <laughs> stuck in time, but yeah, it's a tough way to go. Um, as far as thoughts about the deck list, it was okay. Like I don't like the growth spiral. Um, so that can probably go. Maybe that should be a far seek or something like that. But Growth Fire looks just like a little bit too hard to cast. There's the possibility of wanting the Jeskai Triumph over this Triumph. Not too sure about that. Main deck engineered explosives is suboptimal, I would say. But I mean in short, Life from the Lom is not Renan 6, right? This 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 is just not Renan 6. Renan 6 is just such a messed up card, and it just works so, so well with what we're trying to do here that unfortunately I think that Loam is just a, just a much worse version of the same thing, and it doesn't have as much flexibility. It's super mana hungry, which is so much worse. Like, you probably need more. I should probably be playing more Loams. Uh, if, if I wanted to be doing this thing, but at the same time I can't because like this card just doesn't do anything. Um, is this not a brought back deck? No, it's not a brought back deck. Um, brought back is hard to cast and it's also uh, like we're, it's, it's just not good value for what we're trying to do. Um, we'd rather ramp with explore. So any case, Yeah, I wasn't super sold on it. I don't think I'm gonna be. Yeah, sure. We won. We won three matches. Like we won more than we lost, but even just it did not feel better than what I was already doing. Is what I'm trying to say. What I did kind of like, however, are the reclaimers. So I wonder if it would be time for us to um, to go back to lands, but playing reclaimer instead of the main deck chalices. So that is something that, you know, it, it got it did get me thinking about that. Like maybe it's time for, for Reclaimer to make a comeback. Um the problem is that the problem is that um a bunch of the things that Chalice checks 
which are Cascade, are checked by Teferi in the in this list. And like if we get paired against the Cascade deck, we like we just cannot win ever in a million years uh, a game one. So instead of being like good matchups for us, they ju they are just bad. They're just bad matchups. Why not Knight of Heraldic Warrior? That's actually a good question. I tried it uh, and I was very reluctant to cut it. Uh, but the more that I played, so this is a deck that I I didn't put this deck together today, right? Like I've I've been working on this deck for like four months, five months at this point since since this card was uh, became legal. I've been working on this on this deck. I've been iterating on it a lot. I've been changing things around. Like every single card that you see here, you know, like the one of Celestia Charm will look weird, but it's not. Trust me, like it's there for a good reason. Um, like I've been spending a lot of time working on this deck list. And this is uh, so far the best I could arrive at. And uh, Knight of the Reliquary, unfortunately, does not work because it's too clunky on the curve. Uh, it's too clunky on the mana curve because we are already we have already a bunch of three drops, and it doesn't really fix any of the deck's uh, holes, which is the problem that it has. Like it just it's just like raw power for raw power's sake, if that makes sense. Like this helps in our, uh, this just draws us cards, which is something that we're not very good. Actually, I was very impressed. Like the last time I played this deck list, I was very impressed by the Courser. Uh, but yeah. When I saw the Y, I was thinking really good, right? Those was covered, et cetera. Yeah, those are just not good cards. <laughs> those are just not modern power level cards. Um, and that's like from somebody that's playing Courser or Crufix in their deck, you know? <laughs> Um, like those are worse than Corsair or Crufix because Corsair has a place and those cards don't really. But uh, yeah, overall, I was not, I was not super high on the deck. I'm honestly not, honestly not super high on it. Uh, it's it's fun. It's it's a cool deck. It's something that we can do if we wanted to. Uh, but I just don't think it's better than the other version of the deck. And because of that. Basically, I think that Rain plus Chalice are better than Loam plus Teferi. Uh, Teferi is better than Chalice, but Ren is so much better than Line from the Loam that if I am going to be splitting, you know, the way that I build the deck, if I'm going to be splitting it, uh, taking those two things into consideration, I'd much rather be on the Ren plus Chalice uh, side of things than I've, than I'd be in the Loam plus Teferi side of things. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy that leaf. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I will see you in the next video and have a great re rest of your day.